Welcome to Real Talk, Real Women, a podcast created to equip, inspire, motivate, and empower career-driven, high-achieving, entrepreneurial-minded, grown-ass women who are bold enough to stand in their truth and wise enough to know they deserve better. Let's get ready to recharge, reset, and remember her. Here are your hosts, Adrian M. Johnson and Martha Cooper Hudson. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Women's Empowerment Month, ladies. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Ladies, can you truly believe that they gave us, uh like we needed permission, Mm -hmm. but they gave us an entire month to celebrate our greatness. And here at Real Talk Real Women, we plan to do just that. Yes, yes. We are here for another episode of Real Talk Real Women, the podcast that was designed and created to equip, inspire, motivate, and empower powerful, grown-ass women. I am your host, your girl, Martha Cooper Hudson, and I am joined in the studios by you-know-who, my hot sauce to my fish, my peanut butter to my jelly, my awesome and phenomenal co-host, Miss Adrian yes, M. Johnson. Yes. Adrian, come on in, girl. Hello, 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 everybody. Super excited to be back in the Real Talk Real Women studios one more time. You know that you can count on a powerful episode where we address women's issues and give you practical solutions to get the doggone thing done. Let's get it going, Martha. Well, you know, hey, listen. For you all who know Adrian and Martha, you already know we do not need permission to celebrate me, myself, and I. Not at all, not at all. Because we do that, what? Every Every single single day. day. That's right. Every single day we do that. And so today, as you know, from the very first show of 2023, Mm -hmm. our theme has been live your best year ever. And we are truly excited to be back here in the studios recording this podcast where we bring valuable content for all of the high achieving, career driven, entrepreneurial minded, powerful grown ass women who are bold enough to stand in their truth and wise enough to know they deserve better. So today is our day. Yes, it is. To kick off Women Empowerment Month. Absolutely. With a show that's dedicated to owning your power. That's phenomenal. So, Adrian, let's jump into the show and let's get it started, sis. Absolutely, man. We're, we're so excited to be back. Uh, on our last couple of shows, we've had some phenomenal ladies here in the studio with us. And you got to hear a part, just a part of their amazing stories. You heard from women like Crystal and Keisha, and you heard them talk about why they decided to make themselves the number one priority in their lives and how they're going to make this year the best year yet. So today, it's about the power. It's about the power that many of us own And we truly believe that we have. But in order for us to get to that point of owning our power, a shift must happen. Absolutely. And Adrian, I truly believe that a shift is truly necessary in order for us to own our power. And so that part of this life is huge because it allows women, you and I, to control being overwhelmed, Mm -hmm. overworked, overlooked in every area of our lives. That's right. And so we want to start this conversation off with step number one, Adrian. Absolutely. What would you say would be the first step that a woman must take in order to own their own power. Wow, that that that's what this platform is all about. It's about finding solutions because everybody's got stuff that they've got to deal with, Martha. Yes. And you mentioned women feeling overwhelmed. Mm. Funny you mentioned that. I was talking with one of our mutual friends this morning about some things, some projects and things that she has upcoming, some goals that she set. And the first thing she said was, I feel overwhelmed. Absolutely. And I respond by saying, if you're feeling overwhelmed, it's because you're doing, you're doing more too, than your part. You're doing, you're doing too, too much, much sis, you're doing right? Too much. You're doing more than your part. So a part of finding a solution to that is advocating for yourself. You cannot expect others to do that. 
You have to do it for yourself. You have to be your biggest yes. uh, advocate. You have to trumpet what it is that you need. When I say trumpet, I mean you got to blow that thing loud. Nobody knows how you're feeling better than you. Nobody. However, you got to be able to tap into the people the places and the things that are draining you so that you know how to make the necessary shifts in places where you are vibrating on a low level, things that are sucking your energy. You know Mm -hmm. those energy vampires that we deal with. Stay away from those things. This is what's going to help you and how it's going to help you fine-tune where you are, who you are, lift your voice when and wherever it's necessary so that you can begin to advocate for yourself. You know, you said a mouthful in all of that mm-hmm. space right mm-hmm. there because, you know, I have a big mouth. Mm-hmm. Everybody hears me when I'm advocating for sure, myself. Sure. When I'm mad, when I'm happy. That's right. You know, they all hear me because I'm loud. But we have to think about this, Adrian, because we have to be the loudest voice mm-hmm. for ourselves. But so often, that's the softest voice. For ourselves. It is. We have the lowest tone when we advocate for ourselves because, again, that G word six uh, steps in. Guilt. Guilt. That's right. Guilt Mm -hmm. hinders us from speaking up for ourselves. It really does. Because we think if we speak up for ourselves, that's too selfish. You know, who are we? Mm -hmm. Who are we not to speak up for ourselves? And so advocating for what it is that you want, mm-hmm. tapping into those very things, the, the energy vampires. That's right. The things that drain you, that low vibration that's mm-hmm. floating in your space and around your space, really tapping into that, understanding that. And this only happens when you tap into you. Absolutely. Martha, you know I say all the time, you have a right and a responsibility Girl. To yourself, when it does not feel right, when you, you know, I like to use the expression, when you feel like ants are crawling all over you, you have a responsibility to yourself to lift your voice in that moment. And so many women that we work with in all kinds of arenas, it's almost like they can be tenacious at work and tenacious Mm. in in other um, capacities. And then when it's time to, to advocate for themselves to turn the mirror around and reflect on themselves, they get sheepish. The tone of voice changes. They almost ask it like in a question, like, you know, can I? You know, get right. So we are here today. Martha and I are here to give you permission. Permission. Yes, my friend. Yes, my powerful grown ass woman. You can, you should, you must advocate for yourself. And if you don't, Adrian and I, we're going to come find you. Come on now. We're going to come, we're gonna come right. find you. We'll be looking for you. And that's exactly <laughs> right. And so step number two, after becoming an advocate for yourself, mm-hmm. you must become the biggest believer. That's right. You must become your biggest believer on and around those things mm-hmm. by first building that mindset muscle. Adrian, that is so key. It is critical. In every single day, in every single way, because most of us, our mindset muscle is very weak. Yeah, yeah. Over it's time, it does get worn down, Martha. And I'm I'm so uh, excited that we're sharing this this particular um, strategy with women because your poli- your beliefs give you permission. Yes. They give you permission to set expectations. Mm-hmm. They give you permissions to 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 set up what kind of attitude you want to have around something. Yes. They give you permission to feel a certain way. They give you permission to act. So checking in, doing checking that lens in. check. You hear us use that language on this platform. Checking in with yourself to see how you're seeing this thing. Am I looking at this thing in the right way? Do I really need to check my mindset on this? Absolutely. Do I have a deficit mindset as mm. it relates to myself? Mm. Mm. Is it growth? Now. Am I Right. Is it a growth mindset? Am I elevating everybody That's and right. everything before me? Those are the critical questions we've got to ask ourselves. Absolutely. And, you know, when I start to think about how women can truly build that mindset muscle, Mm -hmm. you know, it starts with affirming yourself and your greatness every single day. Absolutely. It also starts with speaking to and digging up those roots that no longer serves you. Mm -hmm. You know, we are all guilty of carrying around the roots 
that was planted yeah. inside of us mm -hmm. when we were little. Yeah. And those things of you should not, who do you think you are yeah. by thinking you're great, yeah. by thinking you're good, by thinking you are beautiful and amazing. And when we started, you know, as children and we started to do that, what did they say? Oh, you think you're better yeah. than... Yeah. And you 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 start dim to your dim light. your light. That's right. You start to dim yeah. your light. Wow, Martha, that's so powerful because so often we don't even realize we're operating that way. No. We don't realize it's dysfunction. It, it's just the way we've always done business. It's the way we've been conditioned. That's right. It's the way we've been raised. So those roots are deep. Deep. Yes. They are deep. You talked about affirming your greatness. Mm -hmm. While we're on that bridge trying to get to that ladder, right? Yes. While we're on that bridge, you got to surround yourself, ladies, with people that are going to help you see yourself. Wow. Because you may or may not even be able to see your greatness mm -hmm. to affirm it. So make sure, that's what Rediscover Her is all about. That's right. A platform where you can connect with women, yes. you can collaborate with women, yes. you can be supported, and you have those women around you that shine the light on you. That's right. It's not on one person. Come on now. We are lighting up a whole Absolutely. city. You know, the dream and the goal is to light every woman's candle That's we right. come in connection That's with right. so that the world will say, is that a huge forest fire? Mm -hmm. Is this world mm -hmm. on fire? No, it's the candles that That's have been right. lit by some powerful grown ass women. That's right. Lighting somebody else's candle doesn't take anything away from Nothing. you. It only makes the room brighter. Know, that's so it. So come on, ladies, let's live a bright life. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? I feel it. You know, and and as you are becoming your biggest believer, mm -hmm. it allows you to gain the right posture. Yeah which allows you to walk with the right confidence in knowing that you are powerful, hear me, ladies, yeah. beyond measure, and that you can be confident in knowing that you deserve everything you, you want to give yourself. That's right. And it's only up from there. It's up. It's up from there. And then... It's up to you yes. to make the doggone thing happen, Listen, ladies. If you it's have the power, be, come on. It's up to me. It's up to me. There you go. Absolutely. There you wow, go. that's so powerful. As we're thinking about what's up to you, ladies, you've got to reclaim your rightful mm. place and space in your life. Yes. You got to get things in order. You have to put things in the rightful place in your family's life, yes. in your career, in your business. Martha and I were joking around before we started uh, the podcast about get your house. In order, oh, come, come on and sit. Girl, you better, you better stop it. Come on you now. Stop it. You're going to make me go and record. Don't Listen, do we're it. doing a doggone thing. We've been singing and talking all weekend, but we had to just sprinkle a little bit of that love on y'all. Yes. You have got to get your house in order. And you've got to ask yourself, ladies, yes. what will it cost me if I don't own my own power? Mm. Mm. What is it going to cost me if I don't begin to reclaim my peace? My God. My peace of mind is going to manifest itself one way or oh another, God. ladies. I promise you it's going to show up in your health. It's going to show up in your relationships. It's going to show up in your energy. It's going to show up in your countenance. Folk going to be looking at you like, mm, mm. she's what's going she through. Yeah. Okay, she's really going through. Yeah. Come on, ladies, let your light shine. Rediscover yourself, recharge, refocus, remember yourself yes. and reclaim your peace, your joy, and your happiness. You know, you said in that, in, in that segment there, mm -hmm. what is it going to cost? Oh, my gosh. And the answer to that is everything. 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 It makes you... Settle, mm. and then you suffer. That's right. It causes your health to do a 95 south. Mm -hmm. It goes downward. Yeah. It causes, when you walk into a room, the atmosphere shifts mm -hmm. to negative, yeah. sadness, things become stressful. Yeah. The cost is too great. It is. And ladies, 
We are not saying something that we haven't lived. That's right. But when you change the trajectory Mm -hmm. and you decide to reclaim, now listen, there are going to be some folks that's not going to like your reclamation. That's going to disrupt some things for other people. It is. It is. is. And that's okay because it's a part of the tension. Yes. There's always going to be a natural tension when growth is 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 happening. There's going to be tension between where you are and where, where you, you go, go and where that's you want right. to go. So that's okay. It's normal. You have people around you to help support mm-hmm. you as you're working through that. All right, ladies, I want you to remember that. There's yes. always going to be somebody available to help you. If you can't find them, call Martha and I. We're available. We are always. Absolutely. One phone call, one text message. One inbox message That's right. away. Yeah. So you got to truly understand that. Lean in, mm-hmm. dive in, yeah. and feel our energy and support until you're able to support yourself. Absolutely. That is what Rediscover Her is truly all about. Yeah. So, you know, Adrian, I know for sure mm-hmm. that this topic and conversation is an uncomfortable space for most women Because of the guilt that sets in and they think that being self-full is an act of being selfish and it's not. Yeah. You know, and one thing I know that you always say that you said it before Mm -hmm. earlier is that we have the right and the responsibility to put ourselves first Mm -hmm. and to feed everyone else from the overflow, sure. not from what's in that cup. That's right. Can you expound on that and what you mean by that when you really go deeper into that space? Absolutely. It is imperative that we become self-full. Mm. When you give from a place of lack, mm. I heard it well said, you make the other person a thief. My God. What happens when somebody steals from you? Mm. You get angry. Yes. You are frustrated. Yes. You lash out. There is resentment. There are walls that are built up in Mm -hmm. relationships because we continue to give from a place of lack. Fill yourself up. Focus on yourself. Yes. Energize yourself. Ladies, I need y'all to put yourselves on an energy budget. Yes. So that you are not spending time and resources and energy in places that are not, you're not getting a strong return on investment. Mm, an I, ROI. Come on now. I really need you to take a, a, a focused look at that. So when, you, when you're talking about uh, being self-full and the right and responsibility that you have to yourself, ladies, everything is depending on that. And you've got to activate the changes that you want to see in your life today. It's, 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 it's more important than I can put in words. Ladies, Wow. I tell you, it's time. It's time for you to pick up your mat. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to remove it from that space of lack and that space of unhappiness, that space of trying to figure out who you are. And it's time to move it over to the side of, I have rediscovered who I am. And whose I am. Yeah. And I know exactly what serves me and what doesn't serve me. That, yeah. And if it doesn't serve me, that I am okay with listening and hearing my footsteps walk away Come on. from those very things. Make goodbye your new boo, honey. Come on, baby. Make goodbye, goodbye your, your new, new boo. boo. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's the you only way, it. ladies, that you're going to be the best and highest version yes. of yourself. That you strive every single day to be good to you first. Be good to you first. When you're good to yourself, you feel better. You're more energized and everybody else gets the best of you, not what's left of you. That's it. And see, that's the piece. You get the best, Mm -hmm. not the worst and what's left over. That's right. You get the very best Mm -hmm. of Martha Cooper Hudson. Giving you the best of me. Hey. 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 It's amazing, amazing, amazing. Mm, mm. whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, we we, we need to have him in the studio. Come on, we're going to call, yeah. We're going to call Anthony. (laughs) Come on in the studios with us and let's have a jam session. But you are so right. And I hope that this show impacted somebody today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So as you go into this week, I want you to ask yourself, 
What are some things yeah. you will do starting this week to take back and own your power in 2023? Yeah. And then what do we want them to do with that information? Ladies, you have got to share those things with us. Make sure that you go to social media platforms. Y'all can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Rediscover Her Too. And always use those two powerful hashtags, self full and Rediscover Her, ladies. We want to hear about it. We want to see it. We want to walk that journey out with you. Well, well, well. My bold, beautiful, and unapologetic sisters, can you believe that we are at the end of another episode? One more in the books. One more in the yeah. books for Real Talk, Real Women. Adrian and I thank you from the bottom of our hearts mm -hmm. for listening and joining us today. Yeah. But what we want you to do more than anything else is share our podcast Please. with your inner circle and every woman that you know, mm -hmm. because sharing is caring yep. and we do not want to be kept the best kept secret. secret that's right. We <laughs> want everyone to know about us. Yeah. And so as you go throughout your week, ladies, never forget that you are grown ass women mm -hmm. who are bold enough to stand in your truth and wise enough to know you deserve better. Oh yeah. Remember to allow your light to shine as you light another woman's candle this week. Oh yeah. And to my super duper co-host Adrian M. Johnson. Sis, yes. I always thank you Absolutely. for riding and dying Come on, with to the me wheels listen, to the wheels fall, fall off. That's right. <laughs> Four flat tires, Four no flats. Spare. That's how we down. That's no right. Air. That's right. <laughs> Ladies, we've had so much fun being with y'all as always. And we want you to make sure that you stay in the know. We've got powerful content coming. Amazing programs coming, awesome products coming too. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that you are the first to be in the know. So y'all get on our mailing list at www.rediscoverher.org. And I know you've done it, but just in case you haven't, make sure that you've subscribed to our podcast on iTunes, Spreaker, iClouds, iHeart. We are all over the place, y'all. Find us on YouTube, Google Podcasts, and also make sure that you follow us again at Rediscover Her TV on YouTube. And also follow Martha and I personally on uh, Facebook and IG at Martha Cooper Hudson and Adrian M. Johnson. Ladies, we'll see you next week yes. as we continue this conversation. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about Celebrate Her. Yes. Have a great day. We'll see you next week. The same place, same time yeah. with the same host and co-host. Love you, ladies. We're out. Bye-bye.